It's Wednesday, September 18th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Job Got It Right, and our scripture is Job chapter 40 and 42. Then the Lord answered Job from the whirlwind, Brace yourself like a man, because I have some questions for you, and you must answer them. Will you discredit my justice and condemn me just to prove you're right? Are you as strong as God? Can you thunder with a voice like his? All right, put on your glory and splendor, your honor and majesty. Give vent to your anger. Let it overflow against the proud. Humiliate the proud with a glance. Walk on the wicked where they stand. Bury them in the dust. Imprison them in the world of the dead. Then even I would praise you, for your own strength would save you. Then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do anything, and no one can stop you. You asked, Who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorance? It is I, and I was talking about things I knew nothing about, things far too wonderful for me. You said, Listen, and I will speak. I have some questions for you, and you must answer them. I had only heard about you before, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. I take back everything I said. I sit in dust and ashes to show my repentance. Somewhere along the way, Job forgot his connection to Adam and Eve. Job forgot about original sin and that sin nature we all inherit from our first parents. Job somehow managed to consign to the back burner that need we all have for God's grace-filled forgiveness. Job was a moral, God-fearing man who, as a paragon of virtue in his community, was respected and did the right things. He was like the good brother in the story of the prodigal son. He was obedient, compliant, useful, and the kind of dependable and selfish guy every church elects as chairman of the board. However, when the unfair tough times came and his life's train got derailed, Job defended his purity level, demanding an answer from God. For 39 chapters, Job tried to pry an accounting from heaven. When God did answer, it shook the good man to his core. The only sound heard from him the rest of that day was the clicking of his teeth as his mouth closed on its complaining. That was how Job finally got it right. Many in our day who have ditched church in favor of just being good people are making the same mistake Job made. They assume their goodness is measure enough to pass whatever test God, if he's really up there, can pass out. It's a kind of macho bravado that dares God to question their freedom to determine their chosen pathway. And that attitude holds enough truth to get them in as big a dilemma with God as Job experienced. That's because God does indeed allow us free choice in how we will live our lives. It's just that the consequences of our choices are just as tied to those choices that we make as night is connected to the next morning's daylight. It's like the proverbial domino reality. When you choose to push that first one, The second, third, fourth, and each one thereafter will fall the same way. Years ago, the Alaskan Highway was just a rough, unpaved trail through the wilderness. During the rainy times, the ground was soft and muddy. There was a sign erected at the start of the trail that said this, Choose your rut carefully. You'll be in it for the next 200 miles. We could apply that same wisdom to choosing grace or our own strength. God has given us the gift of free will. Humility applied to that choosing will go a long way towards losing the arrogance that says, it's my life, I'll do what I want. For you today, Job's biggest mistake, that is, before he heard that thundering voice from heaven cataloging an indictment of his ignorance, Job's biggest mistake was to think that he'd been a self-made man, that his popularity and wealth and goodness were enough. He may have been right in the eyes of his neighbors and friends, 
I mean, that day's culture and community elected him man of the year every year until the bad times and the boils made their appearance. Then all Job had left was God. And when he realized that, he realized he had all he needed. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.